howdy I would like to welcome you to my channel today I will be sharing with you how I created this beautiful Valentine's Day love themed card so if you'd like to see how I did that just sit right back kick your shoes off and let's begin we are going to start out with some mineral paper along with some sharpies and my spray bottle has alcohol in it now I have already pre-cut my mineral paper to an A2 size which is four and a quarter by five and a half but the mineral paper comes in a nine by 12 size. So really you could do this technique in any size format you wish. So I know that a lot of newer paper crafters or card makers would like to try some of those alcohol ink techniques that they see, but they're like, maybe not ready to invest in some bottles of alcohol ink, but you can always grab some Sharpies and you can actually do the same thing with your Sharpies. If you don't have Sharpies, you could also use some Bic well, these are Bic Markets. I think they're now called Bic Marking. We're just scribbling with our alcohol markers. And yes, sh your Sharpies or your Bic markets are alcohol markers. That means they work the same as any other alcohol marker on the market. Then you just take your spray bottle. and you blow on it. You can also add your other alcohol ink supplies, which um, we're going to use some pinata gold. Now I have a large bottle, but you could totally find it in a smaller size. don't need any fancy tools at all to do this. You could use one of those ear cleaners for babies. Um, this is actually a cleaner for my camera. Now we just need to wait a minute for this to dry. We can now bring in our die to cut a heart out of our paper.
We're going to run our paper through the die cut machine. To complement our die cut heart, I have die cut the word love. Out of some paper that has a sticky back behind it. And I'm actually going to pop that up. So I'm going to so I'm just going to take some fun foam to help pop up our die cut and then we will start working on creating our card. We're now going to take our cardstock piece and place it over the fun foam piece. So we're just using my Spellbinders tool and one to help out with this. Now we're going to take our really pretty heart and our sentiment. We're going to place that on a card base. We're just going to place some glue on the back of our mineral paper. This one is from scrapbook.com. going to we're going to take some barely art glue and glue the back of our fun foam to the front of our mineral paper now remember if you're a new card maker you can always use photo paper To help you create this same look using the exact same supplies I used which were the markers now I feel it is important to note that if you are a beginning card maker and you want to continue with this hobby that you're gonna need a good liquid glue along with a good um, glue runner. Now this fun die cut sentiment comes with a matching stamp set happens to be from Hero Arts, but I believe there are other stamp companies that make the same type of thing. So now we're just going to take our little stamp and we're going to, we're going to do something I pretty much never do anymore, which is put it on a stamping block and we're going to stamp it. So to change it up a bit, I'm going to stamp onto some Candy Apple Red cardstock using Gina K Amalgam Ink in Obsidian. And now 
now I'm going to fussy cut. Well, I'm just going to cut. <laughs> I don't know why I called it fussy cut. I'm just going to cut our sentiment strip and okay. And now I'm just going to cut this a little more. And then I'm going to go in and cut a little triangle. You know what? I'm just going to make that a banner, actually. And now I'm going to do our little sentiment. on top of our die cut one. I'm gonna bring the Barely Art glue back in to help with that. I would like to thank y'all so much for sticking with me to the end of the video. Remember, you don't need a lot of supplies to make a beautiful card. Just a few die cuts, some markers, and of course a stamp set. So you can create an ethereal effect without having to invest in a lot of alcohol ink tools. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I hope that y'all stay safe, stay healthy, stay crafty. Bye!